Rail 66 Country Trail. We are just outside of Clarion, PA, Clarion University. It's down that way somewhere. And a little town up here called Marion is up here. Um, really don't know much about this trail at all. It's not even on the Google Maps yet. I know it goes from here in Marion up to Marionville. How far that is, what the elevation changes are, all that kind of neat stuff. I don't know. Let's go find out. Let's go for a ride. It looks like the trail possibly goes that way from the trail map that I did see. It goes further down and meets with 66, but it's not paved over there and this seems to be the trail head. This is where the parking is. So what is further over there? Oh, look at this. We have a map. It's the map. 12.1 to Leaper. Well, yeah cool. and it only goes as far as Belmont goes. it goes to the county line okay. now from what he told me it goes six miles beyond that so leaper is wow leaper's 12. it doesn't have a marker for Lawinkle. we could be in for a, a rather long ride today should we choose the train station up there mile 7.1 all right so and we're off we have chosen to wear bright orange because we are in hunting country and it's small game season. Beautiful day in November. And sounds like I have a spoke or two loose again. What's that? Sounds like I have a spoke or two loose again. We've got yeah. railroad ties scattered over to the side. We were up through here a few weeks back and saw them paving what I'm guessing was this trail several miles north of here up into Cook's Forest. Lots and lots of pumpkins. That's kind of cool. Yeah, they are. Well, it's still there. It's after Halloween. I guess. So we are in northern Pennsylvania kind of off to the left from the center part of the state stayed last night and we'll stay again tonight in Clear Creek Street State Park which is right on the Clarion River and across the river from the Clear Creek State Park is um, so across from uh, Clear Creek is Cook's Forest Cook's Forest is huge part of the the Allegheny National Forest, I think. Either that or they just butt up against each other. But I'm going to say it's part of it because I don't care. I mean, Cook's Forest has the old growth forest up there. If you go hiking, it's um, when they were just raping the land here in Pennsylvania to build this country they were just taking all the they were denuding the land all the trees were being taken out and the one very smart future-minded person thought we can't do this and he had the idea to leave part of the forest there so it's probably it's the only old growth forest that i know of in pennsylvania Tomorrow would have been my father's 88th birthday. He's been gone for 18 years now. Happy birthday, Pop. Did we cross here? Yep. And a bit of a bump up.
No, we're good, we're good. Thank you. It is a beautiful November day. Nice and comfortable. Just last week we had snow. So, you know, welcome to Pennsylvania. It is, it's a little field of little pumpkins. The other one was a big field of big pumpkins. One of the really neat things about this time of year, when, now that the leaves have come down and it's not quite freezing, you can actually see what's in the woods. You get such thick foliage through here that there could be anything over there. And now you can see there's a field. I can see there's a field. This camera's not really good at picking up things through the trees. What's that? It does. It does. Not uh, not huge amounts, but enough that I'm using my gears. We got pumpkins, we got cauliflower, we got Brussels sprouts. I've never seen Brussels sprouts growing. There's a place that grows them in Castle Shannon where you do that jigging and jogging up to the, the um, railroad tracks. Well, it's just a small garden. Yep. It's kind of wild because it grows up a stalk and has leaves. And then all the little Brussels sprouts are like little tumors on the stalk. Yeah. I bet a tumor would taste better. I love them. Blah. I think they're delicious. And I say again, Blah. They're very healthy for you. Don't get me wrong. And I eat a lot of vegetables. I really don't care for most of them but I know that they're healthy for me. But I, I, I just can't do it, man. I just can't do the Brussels sprouts. Hey, and if you're a Brussels sprouts fan, then more for you. Now that says four, and mine says 3.2. Right, right, because at the mile marker one, we were only at 0.2. Oh, okay. So, the trail actually technically starts across 322, but it's not paved over there. Oh, okay. So, and I knew that it went down and it curves around and connects up to 66, but I don't think there's a parking area there, so that's why I didn't bother to find it. Okay. We can explore it when we're done if we want. But... We'll see. I'm just glad to be out here riding. Well, uh, it's not a red caboose, but wonder if the boxcar children are here. <laughs> kind of looks like they were staging to build a, a housing complex and then forgot. Just quit. Now, this looks paid. This Go looks ahead. new. Wow, look how, look how high this layer of asphalt is. Yeah, yeah, they didn't spare any expense here. Uh-uh. 
Don't fall off there. Hey. Shop. Just shop. We're good, we're good. Have you noticed no gates for a while? Yeah, I like that. The old station. Yeah. Lucinda. Western Union. <laughs> Probably. in the woods you had to see it quick a couple guys in orange they're hunting working a dog Love that second floor porch. Well, look at the view they have from it temptation is always there to say good morning. We ate lunch before we headed out, so I know doggone well it's afternoon. Long but... views. See, on a summer day, we wouldn't get these views. I bet the colors here about a month ago were astounding. We do. This is kind of cool to have a paved trail through the country like this. This is awesome. This is sweet and it's There's not ripple. There's a blind right there for hunting. Where? This one has. Oh. This is not a trail I want to fall off of. Yeah. It's just kind of deceptive because, you know, if it was a 12 foot high embankment, we'd be like, well, that's kind of scary. Let's be careful of that. But this is only a few inches. Still enough to get you hurt if you're not careful. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And there's so much to look at. There it is. I'm trusting this trail because I am just looking at everything I Yeah, when he, he sent me that trail map and I looked at the route and I thought, wow, it really follows 66. So I really thought we'd be next to the road the whole time, but we're not. I'm glad we weren't. Oh, I'm very glad.
So I have a bunch on my mind these days and one of which is I just found out that my blood pressure is much too high. Now I work in healthcare and I know the risks of high blood pressure but I also don't like medicine. Working in healthcare how can I not like medicine? Well because I don't work in nursing I'm not a doctor. I've worked for the last 23 years in occupational therapy. My approach to health wellness is an active one, not just popping something from a bottle. So my problem with popping something from a bottle is that everything has a toxic effect. Every medicine has some kind of effect that you don't want and I have long suspected I, I don't have any studies or anything to back it up but I've just theorized from the, from the people that I've watched blood pressure meds cause a fib atrial fibrillation the heart not beating right so when I went to the doctor and they found out, I said, well, what can I do? And she told me that, uh, you know, she said, well, do you eat a lot of processed foods? Do you eat a lot of microwave foods? Do you eat out a lot? I said, no, no, no. But I was eating a pretty healthy lifestyle. So I came home. And I mentioned before that you know, I eat a lot of vegetables that I don't like because they're good for me. I'd rather have vegetables I dislike than medicine. It's not that the medicine doesn't work per se. Yeah, you take medicine, it will lower your numbers. But like I said, there's a toxic effect to them that I don't want to deal with. And two, I just, I, I just don't like the idea of masking the symptoms. The high blood pressure meds will make your numbers fall where you need them to but whatever's causing the high blood pressure is still there but when I asked the doctor she's like well I already asked you the major things and that's the that's the problem that I have with modern medicine is it's all pharmaceutical if I needed a, a short term short term fix I would certainly go for that but I'm looking for a short term fix I'm looking for a make my body fix itself fix the body likes to be healthy in the majority the body likes to be healthy and that's before we do all these stupid things to it and I have noticed over the years that people that have been my patients coming through are there because they did it to themselves not on purpose and my blood pressure is something that I've done to myself not on purpose but luckily we have the world of information at our hands sometimes too much information at our hands so I got home and I started looking up foods that will actually de decrease your blood pressure so my wife went through and found she, she started looking at the sodium on the labels of stuff that, that we thought were healthy and it's really surprising how much sodium is in everything you know we don't we don't eat canned soup we make our own soup we make a lot of our own stuff but just in spices and I don't know, a lot of places you just wouldn't think to look. There's just sodium everywhere. So we did a two-pronged attack where we just got rid of foods that are full of sodium 
and the other way now is choosing foods that will correct our numbers, correct my numbers. Found a lot of different things, beets, um, but kale, kale is like a superfood. Kale does everything. Just if it didn't taste like crap. Boy, this is the most crowded we've seen it on the trail today. But sunflower seeds, um, pumpkin seeds, nuts. Surprisingly, it talks about, as far as cholesterol goes, fat. And it said, don't be afraid of fat. Naturally occurring fat is actually good for you because it's a, what is it, a monosaturated fat or something like that. And it's good for you. It's the polyunsaturated fats that are bad for you. Building up a plaque in your bloodstream and causing extra pressure on the, on the walls of the veins, the arteries. So don't be afraid of butter. I said, really, you don't have to be afraid of salt. It's just not the stuff in the blue cylinder. The natural like the Himalayan sea salts and stuff like that. There are a lot of tasty alternatives. And here's the weird thing about it. I've said for years, I'm never hungry. I eat because it's time to eat. I eat because I like to eat. I like the things that taste good. I love chips. I love burritos. I love pop. I gave up pop years ago. I have it once in a while because it tastes good. But I don't drink a liter a day like I used to. I might have a can a month. Chips are the hardest thing for me. I love chips. I love Doritos. But we're just kind of doing an all out assault on this to try to get the pressure down to get the numbers down. Oh. Just a very long wall of railroad ties. I've never seen anything like that before. There are more railroad ties on this path than I've ever seen. Twenty miles in, my wife's had enough. We're turning around. This is our turnaround point on the Route 66 trail. 2200. So Marionville would be another six and a half miles north. And we don't have it in us today. Marionville, Marianne is 19.7. Of course, that's his North Country Trail. We've got something passing here. This is North Country National Scenic Trail. Follow the blue blazes. I saw a sign on the road that talked about the Baker Trail. My wife is saying she thinks the Baker Trail is part of the Appalachian Trail. Yeah, you can see the, the blue markers in the woods on the trees. Yeah. So lots of hiking up here. Yeah. I don't know. I think the I, I think the Appalachian Trails. Hi. I think the Appalachian Trail is much further east. They might. discovered on this trail that no one knows what the bell is for. Not a single person has moved over when I rung my bell and most don't move when I announce that I want to pass. 
and I've had to see it multiple times. to the end here. What are your feelings on the trail? It's a really nice trail. Not a lot of porta potties, but they had them where I needed them. Not as many as the gates for crossings or stop signs, but I like that. Forty-two miles from Marion to almost Marion City or Marionville or whatever the heck it's called. I don't know. Um, we didn't make it quite the whole way to and from, but we made it pretty far. Um, it's a nice trail. It's a nice trail. It's not on Google Maps yet, um, so I usually tell people to go on Google Maps and check out the bike trails, and there you go. Um, you can't do that. So you're here on three twenty-two. Uh, near the Dairy Queen is the trailhead so it's a really nice trail very scenic very rural Pennsylvania mother